Transperience, originally based at the former now rebuilt Lomar train station, is an interesting bit of transport history in Bradford that had great ambition but never attracted enough tourists to support itself and closed just two years after it was opened. So in this episode of Thoroughfare, let's talk about Transperience, with special thanks to Nicholas Tozer for the footage of Transperience while it was open. Before it had its final name, the idea was created by the West Yorkshire County Council, who thought it could help revitalise the local area by attracting hundreds of thousands of tourists that were estimated would come from all over the region for a day out. As we know now, they never managed to attract anywhere near that amount. Originally, the County Council in the 1980s set out the scope of the project. The site would be 27 acres in size and create a theme park like Transport Museum, covering the history of Bradford transport from the horse and cart all the way to the motor bus. Furthermore, at the same time, the council also wanted to introduce a new Spen tramway that would run along the old railway alignment from Low Moor all the way to Dewsbury, which was hoped would both provide a good transport link between the two areas for the locals, but also draw in tourists to the valley. Yet the scheme was heavily undermined by the dissolvement of the West Yorkshire County Council in 1986 under the Thatcher government, but they did manage to get the scheme rolling with £1 million of funding for the concept. Soon after, in 1988, Mike Haynes, a former economist and heritage project leader among other things, was appointed chief executive of the scheme and was charged with making it happen and securing the £15 million to pay for it. The final cost of creating and constructing Transparence was £11.5 million, with £8 million coming from the Department of Environment and the rest of the funding coming from various other sources, and therefore construction of Transparence began even whilst Bradford Council was mainly against the scheme. After the construction of the site, it was opened to quite a fanfare in July of 1995, but the final transparent site never really lived up to its name. Whilst the opening was great and wonderful, core elements like the Spen Valley Tramway had not been achieved and the tramline only covered a small area within the confines of Transperience, which was around a mile long. Furthermore, access to Transperience was mainly limited to driving as the railway station was closed. Plus, rather than being complementary to the other attractions in Bradford, like the National Media Museum, it competed with them whilst also being nearly two miles away from Bradford city centre. Additionally, the site in trying to appeal both to the general tourist and the avid enthusiast failed really to appeal to either particularly well, with some transport enthusiasts preferring the old site at Ludlam Road, with it being a former road garage. All this led to the site falling short on the amount of visitors it needed to stay afloat, and after just two years of operation, Transperience was around £1 million in debt and forced to close in 1997, with the site being sold to a developer just a year later for £1 million. Luckily, the charity Sustrans was able to gain ownership of the old rail alignment and turned it into a walking and cycling path between Lowmore and Dewsbury, which after its opening in 2000 has become a very popular greenway. Personally, I think that if the tramway had been built, it would have been quite a success, as it would have both a tourist attraction, but also could be used by locals to move around the Spen Valley without the need for a car, and could have formed the foundation of a wider transit system across West Yorkshire. But, of course, that never happened. So, that's how Bradford used to have its own transport museum, and how it eventually failed. Thanks for watching Thoroughfare, and I wish you all the best. <laughs>